You know what? I'm gonna do this myself. Oh, so cool. Oh, we've got a fight. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Secrets of Dr. Wu here on Isla Morta. As you can see, I've added in some Triceratops, along with a few other dinosaurs into this enclosure. I think one more Edmontosaurus than we had last episode, and a lot more uh, Gallimimus. Now, just to show you guys what Dr. Wu has made us do so far, uh, he has had us do uh, a lot as far as dinosaur creation goes. We've got a few more Troodons in here, but probably the coolest thing on the island so far is the Carnotaurus. Now, I made this guy because I thought it was cool to have another dinosaur in the Troodon enclosure. And, uh, you know, it was mentioned in the Lost World novel, the Troodon at least, in a paleontological way. But the Carnotaurus was a big part of that novel. Ooh, he's nipping at the Troodons. <laughs> I love the design of this guy. Everything about this animal. Look at that, when you're looking head on at him, Oh, that's so cool. 1995, Michael Crichton, Lost World. All right, so we are actually going to kick this episode off with a dinosaur that Dr. Wu wants us to sell with a lifespan of 182. This Zuchomimus is extremely expensive. It was like 4.5 million. It's actually, I think it was pretty comparable to the Indominus Rex that we're going to unleash in this episode too. And, yep, we've got a Spinosaurus. So. First things first, let's release this heavily modified dinosaur, and Dr. Wu wants us to sell it, so we're gonna do that. Look at the colors. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's, that snout's so tiny. Not for long, you're not. Uh, you gotta go. Request acknowledged. So, th what they're going to do is tranquilize this guy, and I guess... You know, I never really thought about it, but the whole process of selling dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution... Where do they go? Who do they sell them to? Are they selling them to a rival company? Are they selling them in an operation similar to the Eli Mills stuff that happened in Fallen Kingdom in Lockwood's basement? Not sure. Alright, they got one dart in them. Come on, get him again, boys. Oh, he's running. He's got nowhere to hide, though. Shoot him, shoot him. Shoot it. Shoot it. Tell them to shoot it. Come on. <laughs> That's so awesome. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Ah, I think they missed. They're gonna have to circle back around. Missing wetland. Oh, he's dropping. Why is he dropping? I don't think they tranked him yet. Now, come on. If you, if you can't hit him when he's... He's sitting still. Okay, that one, that's a that's a hit. And he should be down any second now. Got him. All right. Sell dinosaur. How much? He's gonna go for two point, almost two point two million. All right, we're gonna sell that one. Not bad. Uh, you know, the dinosaurs in this game, both to create and to sell, uh, are considerably lower than what they were in Fallen Kingdom, which is interesting because Fallen Kingdom caught a lot of flack for how low the prices were for the dinosaurs. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you're creating them, it can't be that much. If, if you know what you're doing anyways, if you've been creating dinosaurs for a long time. I think the Indominus Rex in film canon I think that went for about 26 million, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, I mean, if you're gonna sell it, hey. All right, so this is the first official hybrid. Dr. Wu's, I guess, masterpiece, the Indominus Rex. All right, I've never unleashed one before in Jurassic World Evolution, so this is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, oh, Franklin's... Thank you, Franklin, I really appreciate that, and, uh, Reputation reward, okay, improved marketing. Let's go ahead and release this Indominus. Oh boy, and it's raining and everything too. I, does Dr. Malcolm or Dr. Wu come on to talk about it? I hope so. Oh, look at that guy. She is gnarly. 
<laughs> oh, what a dinosaur. Oh. Oh, come on. Nobody's going to come up and talk about it. I want to hear what Jeff Goldblum has to say. All right. Oh, they've got the music, too. The dun 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 dun. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end Tranker. Now, she should give us a little bit more money. I mean, if we're going by, you would you would assume so anyways. So this is the first dinosaur that Dr. Holy shit, we've got $10 million. We've got a lot of money right now. All right, guys. Tranker. Tranquilize the animal and Dr. Wu will give us some more missions to do. Oh, that one hit. Okay. <laughs> oh, that should be it, right? Drop, 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 drop. Should oh maybe it requires three. Damn, they are loading that. Oh, got her that time. <laughs> uh, we've got a tropical storm incoming. We better get rid of this dinosaur asap. All right, and that was the mission, right? All right, Wu. There is an indo what? Only one point one million. Come on, it costs twenty six million in the films to make. All right. Look at the way it looks. Look at that mouth. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the most popular of the new hybrid dinosaurs, if I'm not mistaken. Between this, the Indoraptor, and, you know, the Spinoraptor, Stegoceratops, all that stuff. I think the Indominus Rex is the one that most people really enjoy. There he goes. Or there she goes. She's gone. All right, so that will be that mission completed now we've got 11 million dollars jeez we are raking in the cash structure damaged go to hotel one. Oh, who's gonna be mad i'll get the rangers on it actually we've got a lot of work to do around here good thing i've got three ranger teams uh you guys need to take care of this and you guys need to take care of both this this and actually, you know what? I want to add a task for that. So after the storm blows over, we should be able to do a lot more as far as, you know, dinosaur creation and I guess hybrid creation eventually. Now, I sold that Indominus Rex. I guess that wasn't enough. It had an attack of 147, but wow. So that mission is... I guess still pending. That's kind of BS. I thought for sure that I modified the dinosaur to where... Oh, we got a disease in the park, too. I'll tell you, Site C's got all kinds of problems today. Who's got the disease? All right. Actually, you know what? I'll take care of this. What dinosaur? Gallimimus? Oh, oh wrong button. Where did it go? It's way over there. Okay, we're gonna have to get up way closer to it. So It's a miracle. None of these guys can get out when that door is open. That would be a uh... Oh, come on get out of the way get out of the way get out of the way Sweet All right, the outbreak of bracken poisoning I guess is what it was. Oh is controlled. So Now that all of that is said and done uh Looks like we got to make another Indominus Rex, which kind of sucks because it's going to postpone our Spinosaurus creation, but let's go ahead and modify this genome. What was wrong with the Indominus? It needed an attack of 147, right? That's what we need to do, right? Sell Indominus Rex with 147 attack. So go in here and modify the genome. What's the attack looking at right now? The attack is only looking at 128. Camouflage. Resilience. Uh, we just need to up the attack. Yeah, well, that'll do it to uh, 140. Wait. Just a second. I want, can it be over 142? Uh, increasing a dinosaur's ability to attack is a key interest for the security division. Modify, release, and sell on at least 147. Okay, so... It can be over 147 then. So we've got the money. We have the technology. Uh, defense. I don't think defense will make attack go up. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, that's it. Right there. One, four, 154. That's good. 
How much? That animal's five million dollars. You better incubate properly. In the meantime, we're gonna release our Spinosaurus. Check this guy out. Sight C, this is where you were supposed to be born originally, Spino. That's so awesome. All right, now, of course, with the Spinosaurus being out, we're probably gonna have to trans, uh, Transport him to the other paddock that I've got set up. Oh. There's a new contract that I want you to consider. Two for one, not bad. We're gonna do two contracts in one, it looks like. Now I'm actually going to take care of this myself, so let's go. ACU team is en route to tranquilize one spino. Dart rifle. Nice shot. That was easy. Whoop. <laughs> we did that so simple. All right. And you are going to go in. This is the electrified paddock, right? Yeah. So let's get you in here. And just to make sure the Spinosaurus is feeling at home, I'm gonna go ahead and give it, instead of goats, a fish feeder. Because as you know, Spinosaurids preferred fish. But you know, honestly, I am gonna go ahead and give it some goats as well. Now, I don't know exactly what kind of enclosures they like, but it shouldn't really matter. So by the time that Indominus Rex gets created, Dr. Wu will have a, another hybrid, and we will have our second Indominus that we need to sell. Looks like it's gonna take a little while though, but how much money we got? We got over eight million, so there's really, we're in the clear. Whoa, no way. Oh, that's BS. It did not incubate uh, properly. That sucks. Okay, Indominus Rex, do I have to remodify the genome? What's the attack at? Attack is at 154, so just incubated. Come on. We can make this happen. We can't be we can't keep messing up like that though. Jeez, that's expensive. Alright, now we just have to sit and wait. Okay, so now that we've got our Spinosaurus situated into its habitat, I think it's safe for us to go on and I guess release some other dinosaurs to make this contract go up too. Now I do think that one problem we're going to run into is having these Triceratops not like other dinosaurs being introduced in here. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is sell all three. There's the first one, there's the second one. So we're going to have to tranquilize those and we're going to get a new type of dinosaur in here. Uh, it has to be an herbivore, obviously. Uh, Sinos, let's see, what is their social group looking like? Two to seven. I don't really like those numbers, but we do need a lot of dinosaurs. Let's go ahead and breed. We can't have Ankies. They don't like a lot of company. Uh, Iguanodons? How are these guys looking? 1 to 10 in a social group and 1 to 20 in ideal population. We could totally do that. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have some Iguanodons in here. Modify the genome, of course. Make sure they're all a different color, or at least a few of them are a different color. Uh, there's second one modify one more time and that all right so we've got three iguanodons going we need to tranquilize the other where's the other trike there she is and she's probably really fidgety right now but all right let's go ahead and sell this dinosaur for fifty nine thousand dollars wow that's uh bought a dinosaur today for sixty thousand bucks that's extremely low all right, and are there anything anything we need to do on the island? Yep, this and this. So what I'm most interested in finding out really is how the story ties into, well, really the overall game, I guess, in, in general. You know, for them to build a whole expansion pack on Dr. Wu and hybrid creation, I think is really interesting, particularly when they called this thing Site C. But again, we don't really know why they did that just yet. 
all very interesting. We've actually got one more over here. Oh, we don't want to... <laughs> We don't want to throw an Indominus Rex, but we do want to incubate one more. How's our money looking? $4.8 million. And I did go ahead and start incubating another Spinosaurus because they, I believe, can take two individuals living in the same paddock. I could be wrong, but ooh, we've already got our, Anchi our uh, Ankylosaurus, Iguanodon. All right, Aladar, let's see what you got. Oh, we've got the next one out, too. This is a really cool animal. Um... I'm not so sure why we haven't seen it in the Jurassic Park movies just yet. That might have a lot to do with uh, the animal being in Disney's dinosaur. Believe it or not, that's why the Carnotaurus that was supposed to smell the dino shit in Jurassic Park 3 when they were looking for the phone, that's why they changed that dinosaur to a Ceratosaur, was because Carnotaurus was in Disney's dinosaur. So it wouldn't surprise me if something similar has happened. Uh, Jurassic likes to keep its animals a little unique, uh, so it is kind of lame that they had to knock the Carno back until Fallen Kingdom. Seeing it in JP3 would have been really cool since it was in the Lost World novel. Alright, so we've, we should have one more ready to go. Here's our third Iguanodon, third skin. Second one looked okay. This is my favorite by far. That reminds me of one of the dinosaurs from Walking with Dinosaurs, the BBC series, not that other one. Uh, not the one where the dinosaurs talk. Okay, and we've got Spinosaurus. Wait, what? Oh, hold on, let's go ahead and release this Iguanodon before we do anything else. This is our fourth Iguanodon in the cool skin, too. So we really should be doing good as far as uh, contract goes. How does that make it? 7 out of 10, so... When we get to the Spino, that'll make eight. Indominus Rex will make nine. Whoa, where in the hell am I going? And then after that, uh, I guess we're going to have to do something new. All right, now this is a new skin for the Spinosaurus as well that I've picked. Ooh, purple on the sail. Not bad. I think I really like the blue and white one the most. I don't know if that's like Arctic or something, but uh, this is a cool one too. Love the roar. All right, and ACU, go ahead and take her down. How close are we to the, oh, we're really close to the Indominus Rex. Second Indominus Rex bred, this one should knock out two contracts. First one being just to sell an Indominus Rex. I don't know how we could screw that one up. And then sell an Indominus Rex with a 147 attack. Uh, you know, modifying dinosaurs that are already mod uh, modified heavily, not sound like a very good idea, but uh, this is Dr. Wu's Island, so. I guess they're a little more gung-ho here with doing whatever. <laughs> oh, it's bright outside, too, so we're going to get to see this girl in all of her glory. Come on. Come on. 100%. Let's... Got it. All right. Our second Indominus Rex. This one better fulfill the contract. Damn, look at the model, man. That design is awesome. Oh shit, I just realized, we gotta get that. I don't want her to kill the Spino. No, 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 oh no, no. I think she's gonna kill it. Don't, don't you do it. Oh, I hope the helicopter scares her away. Don't attack that Spino. She's nipping. I think the helicopter. Dead dinosaur really hunted down by Indominus 2. Oh, that's my bad. You bitch. <laughs> oh, I didn't think that she'd kill it. I, I completely forgot. Now is it eating it? Yeah, it's eating the dinosaur. Take her down. Take her the... That bitch. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and breed another Spinosaurus. That's not fair. They couldn't even fight. Ah. Uh, so wrong. You know what? I'm going to do this myself. All right. Oh, come on. We can take it out. Why am I so far off the mark?
Okay, we got one hit on it. Uh, looks like a goat got out. Should be hit too. Okay. Just a little more sedative and she should be down. Got her. Okay. Transport this girl. We're going to sell you for 3.3 million. I believe that's better than last time. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even think that the Spinosaurus would get killed, but I, I uh, couldn't defend itself. That's sad. Okay, so does that knock out both contracts? Sell the Indominus and sell the Indominus with a 147 attack. Come on, get out of here. And this girl's still in incubation. Come on, let's see if this actually works. I don't know why it didn't work last time. This one for, should for sure be knocked out. That is an Indominus Rex. The goal is to sell one. Dr. Wu, what do you think? They're not going down. Oh, okay, we, we did it. Bottom line, All right. I couldn't have done it any better. Thanks. Thank you. How much money did that give me? 10 million, all right. Trade of the art. I see you've completed that dinosaur sale contract. That's a job done. Thank you, Lambert. Reputation reward, improved construction 2.0 global operations so it would be interesting to see what they're going to do as far as Spinosaurus in the next movie because I, I just I have this feeling that it's going to be in there and I'm thinking that they might even try to uh thanks man oh man we missed it eat a goat they might even you know go into detail about this being the first hybrid the curious thing about Jurassic Park 3 is that they did have these ideas to make some of the dinosaurs more genetic freaks. But they... <sighs> Poor Jurassic Park 3. That movie's production, you know... They just went through so much crazy stuff, unfortunately, that they weren't able to really tell the story that I guess anybody wanted to tell. A good example would be the Pteranodons. You know, in the movie, or at least in the script, the pteranodons are supposed to be the things that kill the Costa Rican dudes on the boat at the beginning of the movie. But because they threw the script out and were reworking it as they went along, it doesn't really make sense because they've been locked up in the cage the whole film. What doesn't make sense on top of that is the fact that there's a skull inside of their cage. How'd the skull get there if they were locked up? I know it was supposed to be the Costa Rican dude's skull, or at least that's what the script would imply. Uh, what is it supposed to be a park worker that's been there since the early 90s or the late 80s? That doesn't make any sense It, it just I don't know if you'd call that a plot hole, but behind the scenes information with Jurassic Park 3 and Joe Johnston They've stated that the pteranodons were originally intended to be something that engine was making But they weren't telling anybody about similar to this girl the uh, Spinosaurus Unfortunately, that doesn't make any sense either because we saw the pteranodons free at the end of the lost world so that whole line of them not being on engines list, it's a good thing they deleted that from Jurassic Park 3 because it doesn't make any sense. Now they could be a different version. As we know, there are different versions of dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise. And that's kind of what they have to be because they have teeth. They look radically different from the uh, Pteranodons in the second film. So the best bet, and this is not official, there are, there are no real documents to say so, you, though but I mean the only thing that really makes sense is to take Joe Johnston at his word and say hey these uh pteranodons are something the engine wasn't supposed to be doing which means that they're probably some sort of genetic anomaly you know they're much less uh you know the, the fact that they've got teeth the name pteranodon is like toothless beak I think not not good <laughs> not not pure uh anyways one thing we do have, though, is this Spinosaurus that won't get killed this time. I'm marking this one complete. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and trank her and move her. There's that goat <laughs> into the Spinosaur enclosure. Now, with all of that work being done, it's going to let me request another contract. Nah, two more minutes. We should be pretty good with uh, Isla Morta. As you can see, we've got all of this stuff being done so far for, you know, early work on Site C. And 
all of this stuff is probably going to be used up for the Spinoraptor and Kylodocus, or whatever you call it, and Stegoceratops. Obviously, I'm going to try to put a T-Rex in here, but probably the thing I'm looking forward to most, apart from the hybrid section that I've got over here, is uh, the other hybrid, the Indoraptor, which uh, I really do want to clone, because I've never cloned that either. Two Indominus in this episode so far, and I've already had to sell both of them, uh, so I really want to see what the Indoraptor does. All right, so you are in your new enclosure. Jeez. Uh, what a monster. And she does not like that helicopter at all. Now, I do want to see what the Spinos are like when they interact with each other. So there's the one. Where's the original Spinosaurus? Way over there. Uh. All right, Dawn is coming out. Almost done with this. Let's go get and get another. Oh, this is a side hustle that we should get. Nah, man, I, I can't be doing that. So it looks like, is that the original Spino? No, that is not. This is the new Spino, and it looks like the new one actually became the Alpha. Spinosaurus three. Now, how did she become the Alpha? More importantly, how are their Alphas? It is cool that they're kind of, like, coexisting with one another. God, I love the design for that animal. The red is so cool. Whoa! Are they gonna start fighting? I don't know, they're looking at each other kind of weird. Oh my god, I think they are. They are about to start fighting. Now, socially, you guys are fine. You can both live together. Oh, we've got a fight. Okay. I'm gonna watch it happen. Spino versus Spino. Oh my god, is it backing down? No way, it backed down. That's why. <laughs> Get out of here. This Spino is pretty OP. Damn, I had no idea that would happen. They can stand each other, but one has to dominate the other. This one was so afraid to get injured that it just ran away. That's pretty cool. All right, so what do we got going on? Oh, we've got an Pseudoceratops finally unlocked. Maybe we should clone one of those sometime soon. Ooh, what do we got? Huh. Well, man, that sounds pretty easy. So all we got to do is release eight Struthies, four Edmontos, and four Corythosaurus with all of these ratings in the same pad. Not bad at all. All right, we're going to start that mission. But for now, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. So unfortunately, Dr. Wu didn't even... That is what I was hoping to hear. The entertainment division is where all the excitement can be found. Dr. Wu didn't even really talk to us this time. In fact, we haven't heard from Ian Malcolm in a long time either. So this is what I need. I'm looking for three dinosaur species. Mix it up a little. We're then gonna add a little spice to each. Better dinos, better shows, more paying customers. You know the drill. So Isaac is hmm. pushing for a higher quality of dinosaur for his exhibits, is he? That would be beneficial across the board, I think. That's not an effort one would criticize. But you know, give me time. <laughs> Well, we're going to get to that next time, guys. Uh, for now, hope you are all enjoying this. I can't wait to get to that Spino Raptor. <laughs> now, as always, this video wouldn't be possible without the support of my awesome game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Their continued support has really been a lot of help to me when making this stuff, and I never want them to ever forget it. So a big thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.